Hello guys, welcome back to Sand VFX. Today in this tutorial we're gonna take a look at modeling and rendering this coffee scene you're seeing right now. Okay, this is what we'll be creating today. So before getting into the tutorial, let me tell you we have already launched our website www.sandvfx.com. So if you have not checked it out, go ahead and have a look at it. We do have some free 3D models as well as free textures for you to download and we do have all the tutorials included there as well and we'll be adding new tutorials every week or maybe um, once in 10 days or something like that sometime it might take some time but we'll definitely keep posting new tutorials and new 3d models as well as textures and other cool stuff as well so keep make sure that you keep checking our website as well and if you have not subscribed to our youtube channel make sure you do as well as like our facebook page as well okay so without further ado let's get into the tutorial and let me open up 3ds max here and get started so before modeling our cup we need to make sure what kind of cup we're going to make so it's kind of like a small and something like a round cup so first i'll make uh, your mind how your cup is going to be that's going to be tall or flat or whatever it is like so then you gotta go to shape and line and s save just the half part of your cup okay so let me go ahead and shape it Maybe something like this click and once you are done right click to end it and again right click to get out of this creation mode okay now let me go ahead to my modify panel and go to vertex selection and let me have make some adjustments just try to make as low points as you can so that your lines or your model will be quite smooth okay and that's fine you can tweak it a little more as per your wish whatever you like to create you can do that on your own maybe I guess that's good mm, I think it's too out let me convert it to a busier handle and let me rotate it like this okay that's good and maybe scale this up rotate it and pull this back out like that I guess that will be pretty good okay so I'm not gonna take much time on tweaking this you can try and get the shape that you want now let me select this uh, vertex right here and if you see let me go to W and W to move tool and if you see that it is not centered at the origin so let me zero my X spinner or X axis and now it's centered on the origin okay so let me get rid of the vertex mode and the next thing we're gonna do is add in a modifier called lathe okay let me go down here and align it to minimum so that we get this cup I guess it's too big uh, it's kind of like a ball so let me go to line again go to vertex and let me pull these all of them a little more closer let me pull this down maybe Just a little more in. Okay, I guess that will be good. Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, now, if you see, you can see some errors right here. You can fix that by just hitting this world core options, and that's done. Okay, now let me get rid of this selection bracket by pressing the J key. Now, let me go down to shaded mode as well as I'll press the F4 key to get all of these edge faces. Now we have two segments right now. We don't need that much of segments. We just need gonna reduce it down to eight. Or not eight. Maybe ten. Or maybe twelve. Let's see. Okay, twelve is good. We're gonna add in a turbo smooth later on, so we don't need too much of segments at once. And then or maybe I think I'll reduce it to ten. Is that good? Okay, that'll be fine now I need some thickness to my cup so I'm gonna add in a shell modifier you know let me set my outer amount to maybe five that's good 
okay and let me convert it to an editable poly let me go to A's let me select these two A's right here and let me hit loop so that I select all the top uh, A's and let me do a quick chamfer not too much just maybe 0 0.5 with two segments okay now let us have a look how it is going to look when we smooth it so down here you'll have this options called use nerve subdivision you can check on this to see the smooth preview and I'm get, I can get rid of these lines by pressing the F4 key so it's uh, still not so smooth so we can increase the iteration amount down here on the display iterations okay okay that looks pretty good I guess so we can obviously add in our turbine smooth as we are ready so I can just turn off this nerve serve division for now and also get rid of this one okay the next thing we need to create is our handle so let me again press F4 to get these ace faces and then I'm gonna go to faces let me go ahead let's go to top view once and before going to okay we're gonna model our handle right here that's here maybe let me select two faces from top and two faces from bottom yeah, let me insert them down something like that also let me scale them in and let me extrude them out okay pull them out plus it one more time not two times okay that's good now I'll just delete all these outer faces delete them together and then let me just pull them up just this part right here up this one as well let me rotate them as well now what I need to do is connect these two together so that's what I'm doing right now okay maybe they are good to connect now let me rotate it a little bit as well as this part right here so it's gonna support this one and I guess let me scale it out a bit okay axis as well now I'll go to border select both the borders right here and let me go to bridge okay, that's good I may need one more segment at the middle so let me increase the segment okay now that's done we need to shape it a little more so let me go to left view and let's go ahead in our vertex mode and shape them okay so rotate them move them and try to shape it uh, as much as you can take some time don't be too lazy uh, actually I'm lazy I've, I don't I hate tweaking these vertices but still I had to do that's the problem I wish someone was here to do this for me unfortunately I'm the only one <laughs> okay almost done as I said earlier I'm too lazy to shape it too much so make sure you do it perfectly I'll just do it roughly for now okay maybe scale it down something like that okay I guess that would be pretty good so a little bit I uh, sometimes we don't we're not satisfied with what we're doing so we have to tweak it more uh, okay I'm gonna leave it right there for the tutorial okay now once that's done let us have a look how it's going to look when we smooth it now you can see it's quite good it seems like it is attached but we can see some errors right here let me turn off these is faces by pressing F4 and you can see some errors right here so we have to fix them otherwise it's not gonna look good so let's get rid of these uh, smooth preview again and turn on ace faces again <coughs> I'm sorry now we need to add in some supporting edges okay so let me go ahead select this one right here do a ring and do a connect okay pull this back up okay 
I'm gonna let me select this one right here do a ring and do another connect and let me this time just 84 okay then oops sorry connect again and done okay let's uh, look if that's that looks good um, somewhat good but not fine still we need to tweak it a little more so what we'll do is first of all let us add another segment right here as well okay ring and connect it's negative negative value somewhere around there okay for this one right away ring connect down okay let's go to smooth view and let me reduce my duration down to two and let me go to vertex mode now I can edit it right at this point as well so not the vertex I'll go to the edge mode and let me say look this okay that's not gonna select let me select all these part right here and make sure you don't try to select this white edges you have to select these yellow edges when you are in the nerve subdivision mode so let me pull them out sorry scale them or maybe for this one right here Roll loop pull them out maybe select, select this one right here now loop it just uh, try to make some adjustments and try to get uh, the result okay maybe pull them back a bit select this one right here loop it maybe pull it out mm -hmm. that's too boring right. but you have to do it there's no other choice I guess it's not what we want mm, let me pull this up just take some time don't worry it will be fixed soon we're almost done just few more tweakings let's pull them in the tweaking the vertex is one of the main part to create a really smooth and really a perfect model if you are doing an organic model if you don't take much time tweaking the vertex you're never gonna get the perfect shape so you should always be calm and tweak these vertices that's a really a main part for modeling almost every stuff okay. uh, let's see how it looks um, that's that's pretty good let's go for the down part as well and make some adjustments okay just pull them in maybe I need to pull this out Here, loop him and pull him out. Okay, and this other one as well. Maybe that's too much. Again, loop it and pull it back a little more. it's not so perfect but if you uh, keep tweaking it you can get the perfect shape so I skip that for the tutorial part otherwise it's gonna get too long and you guys will get bored all tweaking these vertices so I'll just skip it for now you just take some time and tweak these vertices and you'll get uh, the perfect shape out of it okay so once that's done let me get rid of this nerves of division and let me go ahead and add in a turbo smooth yeah, with 
two iterations and I still display okay now the next stuff is creating the saucer for our cup and we're gonna go and use the same technique as we did before go to line this time If you have an image of a saucer, you can just put it right at the back to get the perfect shape or whatever you want. Now let's go to vertex and tweak it a little more. Okay. Let me uh, position them at the center. Jero and Jero. Let's see, maybe that'll be good. Maybe let's try adding a lid modifier again. Okay, and align it to minimum. Okay, that looks pretty good. Looks good. And let me convert it to an editable poly and add in a turbo smooth as well with two iterations and isoline display. Okay, that looks pretty good can scale the cup if you want Oops, sorry the saucer if you want it a little more bigger that's good let me select both of them and pull them right up so that they are right at the uh, this line right here right at the grid level and I think I need to position them at the center let me select this go to hierarchy affect people only and center to object so that it has its pivot point is right at the center and as well as for this saucer effect pivot only center to object okay let me move this somewhere around here okay that's good okay once that done we need to create this coffee at the top that's really simple we just can use a simple plane to create that so what we'll do is create a cylinder just create this cylinder right here and let me go to modify tab and I'm gonna increase the cap segment to 2 okay so that you can see we have some segments at the top part as well now let me convert it to an editable poly go to faces and delete all the faces except this top part okay let me delete that now that will act as our coffee okay let me position that now go to hierarchy effect pivot only and center to object and let me pull that up okay something there I need to align it okay let's see I can align it to center right there you can press the shift and A key and that will move you to the align tool and then you can just select this cup to align it right to the center pivot but you can see it's not uh, perfectly aligned so I'm just gonna undo it because we have this handle we can't get it right at the center of this cup but that's okay we can do it manually let me scale it up okay now that's fit let me pull it up a little more and let me con convert it to an editable pulley okay we have already done that no need to do it again let me go to vertex and pull this up a bit go to edges select this one loop and pull this up just a little bit of um, balls to effect that's gonna be really good okay now that's uh, with the modeling part and this one right here go ahead and tweak it let me pause the video I'll check it and come back again so let me pause the video right okay I took some time and that looks a little more better still not perfect but uh, I ended up with this one that looks uh, a little more better okay now once that done we're gonna move into uh, rendering this cup okay so let me go to render setup and go to down here to sign render and set my V-Ray as my render and close this for now now we need to let me select this top part which is a coffee part here let me go down here and add in a unwrap UVW modifier you know, let me go ahead select all the polygons 
and do a quick planar mapping okay let me open up my UV editor you can also use simple uh, UVW map but I'm gonna do it this way because it's gonna create a little more oh, let's say what what should that be called I can have a more control over my texture I can create my textures on Photoshop so I just will just render out this UV template go to tools render UVW template set the width and height to maybe 2048 by 2048 render UVW template I'll close this I'm gonna turn off this theme ages so that I just get this white line okay and let me save it right and anywhere you like okay let me say that JPEG and UVW template best okay once uh, you render out the template let's move into Photoshop and let me load up that template down here so if you fix okay oops where's that your coffee and UVW template okay so if you're not familiar with these UVW UV mapping then all the textures inside these bounding box or inside these lines are going to appear in our model file right here so we need to create our coffee texture inside this part so let me open up another image I have this coffee image right here so we're gonna extract this texture out of this oh so let's go to elliptical mask tool and let me create a round mask around it let me move that it's too much I can press the control T key to scale that sorry uh, let me create a new layer so it's an empty layer so that I can transform sorry it's not transforming okay so we need to cut this part let's control oops, sorry select the background control C copy and move here control V sorry and let me transform it control T and I can just scale it up okay and I can use this and press the shift key to have a constant uh, scaling okay I'm gonna just make sure enter let me reduce the opacity to see if it's inside the area yeah and it's too much over it let me reduce it a little less okay so that you can see all the coffee texture are inside that so that we don't need to worry anything about that let me save this one save as let me save it into desktop as in JPEG see you coffee texture diffuse okay and okay now I'm gonna uh, desaturate this go to image adjustment and down to desaturate we're gonna use this as a displacement mat so let me go to adjustment and brightness and contrast yeah. let me increase the brightness a bit and contrast as well Maybe too much okay and let me save it as well as in JPEG on the desktop name it coffee bump okay now let's again go to 3ds max and let me open up my material editor and on the first slot let me go to click the standard button right here uh, I guess I don't need to do that I'll just use a simple standard map I'm not gonna use any VRA material right now so let me go to diffuse and just click this small box right here and bitmap go to desktop and load up my diffuse texture now I'm gonna just assign this to my uh, coffee model this top part right here and just hit this button to assign it and hit this button to show the texture on viewport now you can see the texture on viewport let me off the edge faces to see it a little more better and that's good and let me again get back to the default get down to the maps and on the bump map I'm gonna hit this none button right here and bitmap and I'm gonna select this coffee bump okay and let's go ahead and hit it quickly hit render <coughs> okay the bump map it's uh, not looking so good so instead of the bump we're gonna use a displacement map so let me turn this bump off and click and drag this uh, material right down to the displacement as an instance okay 
and I'm gonna reduce the displacement amount to maybe 5 and let's hit render okay now we're getting a little bit of uh, effect right there you can see maybe it's too much we need to reduce it down to maybe 3 render okay now that's good okay next thing we're gonna create the material for our saucer and a cup they both have uh, something like a similar kind of material so we can create a single material for both of them so let me go to a new slot and hit the standard button here and go down to V-Ray and V-Ray material I'm gonna set the diffuse color to white and add in uh, reflections maybe completely white as well and I'm gonna turn on Fresnel reflection and glossiness to maybe 0 0.8 okay, that'll be good so let me apply it to my cup and my saucer now for this saucer we do have this uh, simple lining right there so for that let me select my saucer and convert it to an editable poly and let me turn on my faces F4 we're having some error let me get undo it and I guess let's see down here no that's alright okay convert it to an editable poly okay we need to turn off this isoline display before we convert it to an editable poly and convert it to an editable poly let's go and go and select uh, this maybe from here these four edges ring them and control click the polygon so that all of them are selected now and I can assign another material to that so let me assign this material right there okay now let me hit standard V-Ray material and let me go something like a blue it doesn't matter you can choose anything you want okay and add in some reflections uh, for nail reflections and glossiness to maybe zero dotted okay similar as the previous material okay now once that's done we need to uh, set up our final render so let me create a plane for our floor plane right there let me scale it more. I guess this angle is pretty good something like this I'm going to scale the plane a little more something like that and let me press the control key sorry control C to create a camera from that viewport now you can see that our camera viewport is selected again let me get back to perspective view for editing purpose now I need to load a texture for my floor as well so let me again open up my material editor and onto a new slot let me go to standard and V-Ray material and right click this uh, box next to the diffuse go to bitmap and this time I'm gonna load a uh, wood texture to coffee okay this wood texture right there and assign it and show shader material in viewport okay that's good that's fine we don't need to UV map or do anything for that now the next thing is we're gonna light our scene using the SDRI map so I need to load up an SDRI map in my material editor so hit this get material button right here go down to V-Ray okay not there go down to maps down to V-Ray and V-Ray SDRI okay now we can close this map browser I'm gonna browse our SDRI map don't worry you can download all the project files uh, from my website sandvfx.com you'll find the uh, project file download link at the bottom of the tutorial page you won't be able to download the project files from YouTube so make sure that you visit uh, sandvfx.com for the project file okay let me go down to toots coffee and I have did one of the church uh, uh, SGRM app that's gonna work pretty fine or you can use any of the SGRI images but make sure since it's a coffee you try to use a uh, interior SGRI map not an exterior I think interior is gonna look uh, pretty much better than anything else okay now I'm gonna set it to a spherical okay now let me go to render setup and quickly set up my scene 
go to indirect illumination, turn on global illumination and ambient occlusion and let me go to your ratings map set it to something like medium for now and I'm gonna turn on detail enhancement and also show calculation phase okay let me go to V-Ray down to environment and I'm gonna turn on GI environment and reflection refraction environment and for that I'm gonna use this map let me drag it to this non-slot right here and instance OK again click and drag it to the reflection channel instance and OK now let me go to my camera view again so you can press the C key to go to the camera view and let me hit render and see how it's gonna look okay uh, it's rendering everything uh, seems to look fine but you can see these black edges right here they are looking at that doesn't matter uh, we'll see that okay the reflections are looking pretty good on the cup saucer and the cup itself I think the saucer is not smooth enough you can see some jagged edges right here so we need to add uh, one more turbo smooth to that okay the cup looks uh, pretty good the reflections are good the occlusion passes they looks good okay I think um, the rendering is good let me cancel this off this one and even though you can, are not seeing the black in the viewport you are seeing that in render because let me click here and see so safe frames and if you see in the safe frame you are seeing these black edges right there okay so you can fix that by zooming in the viewport okay or the another way is when you choose a higher quality image maybe let's say the HDTV you can see that it feels everything right there the so all the scenes are inside the so frames so you don't need to worry about that if you are rendering a high quality image or if you are just with this smaller size you can just zoom in a bit and make sure there are no any gaps right there and then you can hit render okay so let me select my cup saucer and add in a turbo smooth one more time okay that's good turn on ISO line display as well and let me hit render okay the rendering is done and we have some improvement part for this uh, modeling part obviously I said it before as well I think the copy is a little less smooth as well you can add in a turbo smooth one more time and also the cup looks a little bit up in the air you can pull it down and everything else uh, looks pretty good I guess so for the final render you can also render out the several render elements and composite them later on into Photoshop or After Effects you can, you can do that and I'm gonna leave it with just that okay so we just, we just completed a 30 minutes uh, tutorial and I hope you guys enjoyed it and don't forget to subscribe to our channel and view or visit our website www.sandvfx.com we'll see you soon with some more exciting tutorials so keep watching and thank you very much for watching our tutorials see you soon have a good day